Riding in the woods on a dirt bike is one of the most fun things because once you get in that flow state of weaving in and out of the trees, there's just no other feeling like it. But if you're new to it, it can be quite intimidating because all it takes is one little flick of the wrist and you're flying right into a tree that usually is not gonna move out of your way. I remember when I was riding out in uh, South Dakota, the Black Hills with one of my best friends and his family, and we were going on this nice flowy trail. It wasn't very tight, but my good buddy George was a little out of it that morning, and we were coming up around this slight corner to the right, and he was focusing on a tree on the left side of the trail, so the outside of the turn. As he was coming up to it closer and closer, you just kept thinking, oh boy, here it comes, the tree, and bam, <laughs> he went right into it, uh, broke his clutch lever. He was not happy. He's, threw it away and uh, so the lesson he learned was don't focus on what you don't want to hit. One of the biggest reasons why riding in the woods can be so intimidating is because there's so many trees that you might hit but if you're focusing on every little tree that's close to your handlebars you're a lot more likely to hit that tree because you go where you look. So instead of focusing your attention on what you don't want to hit, focus on the trail ahead, where you want to go. And you're so much more likely to avoid those trees and not break your knuckles or your arms or your wrist from trying to punch a hole into the tree. Another common habit is focusing on your front fender or what's just in front of you. Because if there's a rock or a log or an obstacle right in front of you, you want to focus your attention on getting over it. But when you're looking too closely in front of you, let's say 10, 15 feet, you're not able to anticipate what is coming. If you're just riding uh, kind of a, a straight path in the woods and you don't realize that there is a tight right corner with a steep hill right after it because you weren't looking ahead, you're gonna get to that turn, you're gonna realize, oh, you might have to slow down more and then you turn and then you get to that hill but you don't have any momentum because you weren't focusing on what's ahead. So when you don't have the momentum, it's gonna be extra hard to get up that hill because you gotta use extra throttle and you're more likely to spin the rear wheel and lose your momentum and stop halfway up the hill. Not only will you avoid the trees and the obstacles that you don't wanna hit, but you'll be able to ride faster because you can anticipate what's coming so that you can choose the right line or move the bike into the right spot uh, for the next section, whether it's a corner or a hill. And these are all things that I teach in my virtual dirt biker school so that you have confidence to ride basic trails with hills and obstacles without being intimidated, uh, whether it's trees or a new trail section. And right now I have a free basic techniques guide that you can download. It's in the description below. And in the next video of my beginner series, you're gonna learn how to ride over logs without stalling over it. So if you're a beginner and get hung up, uh, stuck on bigger logs, subscribe and uh, stay tuned to that video or click here if it's already out. And then please share this with a friend if you want to stay safe riding a dirt bike so that you can have more fun. I'm Kelly Fager from Motocross Hideout. Learn more, ride more.